Hi everyone, Harley Henning here with the One Marine in Nimbus, Florida. I'm here with Nick Mayru, and we're on the 2022 Nimbus T11. It's a 41 foot center console, lifestyle boat, lots of seating. The beauty about Nick and his company, Mayru Power Systems, is they give us the option of cooling the boat without a generator. He has a 12,000 BTU 12 volt system that runs off batteries. The, the cost is one third of that of a generator system and it's actually unbelievable the way it runs. The cabin is freezing cold and there's hardly any maintenance. As long as you plug in, you're fine. And of course the alternators are charging the batteries. Uh, it helps us sell a, a ton of boats because people don't like generators. They, they break, there's maintenance. Nick's system is bulletproof and uh, we've had a great experience. And I just want to say thanks Nick for everything you do. They're in most of our boats, and uh, it works terrific. It runs all day, and it's unbelievable for everybody. Well, thank you for the recommendation, Harley. Thank you for the kind words. Um, just a little bit further in depth on the system that we're putting in here. So it's a 12-volt system with a dedicated lithium battery bank. Um, gives you 10 hours of runtime with the unit running at full speed. It's a variable speed compressor, so it can slow down and give you longer run times than that. Uh, that is not counting the engines running, so if you're running the engines, uh, that number can greatly fluctuate, you can even maintain the system running with the engines running, and you have a lot of view on the system, so we have a uh, Victron monitor that you can view through your phone, that will tell you how much runtime you have left, the battery voltage is, how much the unit's consuming, or how much you're putting back into the system with the, um, with the engine alternators, and it's just a full package to give the customers uh, the ability to use the vessel without having to run a generator, without the noise of a generator, no the noise. maintenance of a generator, yeah. not the maintenance and also the added weight of the generator which yeah. is going to affect the performance. So here getting into the Nimbus T11, when you're entering the cabin, there's this little door here that opens. We have the breakers, we have the different battery switches, tank levels, and then over here, so this is the Victron BMB712, so this is the battery monitor. We'll see here that we're charging the battery at 53 amps. There's the wattage number. Time remaining is infinite because we're charging the battery. Battery voltage right now is 13.09. Uh, this is the house battery, it's a 12.2. This is the inverter display. So this vessel opted for the uh, for the masterful 2000 watt inverter charger option, so it's able to charge the, uh, the battery bank significantly faster. We have 500 amp hours of lithium in here for 10 hours of runtime, once again at full speed. And that will recharge the battery bank in about five hours. Then we have over here the display for the air conditioner. So if we go through our menus here, we can see that our compressor's running, pump's running. Heat will never run because this is for electric heat, but valve is when you're activating heat mode. So this will turn on if we're asking for heat. Return temperature 79. We have our evaporator at 53 degrees. And you can see that our condenser cooling water is at 100 degrees, so that's the pipe that the water's passing through. We can change the temperature format, so if we want to have uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then if this is too bright, we can also adjust the brightness. Coming over here and entering the aft cabin, go under this bed right here, the first storage hatch, we have access to our through hole right over here, which leads to our strainer, we have our pump over here, discharge hose of the pump, and then here, right over here we have our bleeding valve. So if you're cleaning the strainer, boat comes out of the water, goes back in, and happens to run across an airlock on the pump, um, we likely introduced air into the system and so to just to purge that air out it's really easy you just open this valve over here some water will come out there's a bilge pump over here water will come out and it'll just bleed the air out remove the air from the system and allow you to function with everything without having to dismantle the whole system or call a technician to to reprime the system for you another thing that we have over here is the sump pump. So the unit's draining to the sump pump and then the sump pump is draining overboard so no condensation for the unit is ending up in the bilge. And 
then looking at ventilation, we have one vent over here. It's a three inch in the aft cabin. It's fully rotatable. And you can also adjust the louvers based on the amount of air that you'd like to have back here. We have a second vent over here. It's so belonging to the main cabin. It's a four inch vent, also rotatable. And then down over here, right back there, you can see the return for the unit. So we have our unit mounted on the opposite side of that wall. I'll go inside and show you that as well. Now I'm here in the aft cabin. We come over here and open this access here. Here we have our 12,000 BTU unit, the SC12 DC. To get to the return filter, just a matter of putting your hand in. See the filter coming out. Pull the filter out, clean it, put it back in place. Duck work straight to this vent over here, and then duck work off straight to the vent, the four inch vent that we maximize the efficiency of the system and get the most cooling capacity out of this system. Over there in the back, right there and right there is where we have our discharge through holes. So the one on the left is for the AC unit, the one on the right is for the condensation hook. And then I'll go overboard and show you where to look for water discharge when you start the unit. The process over here when we're starting the system. So we would come over here on the display, we would turn the system on, and then we'd come up and look over the side. You want to see that water flow coming out of the side there. So if there's no water flow, that's when we would go back to the back to the aft cabin under the bed and make sure that we don't have um, an airlock in the system. Uh, make sure the pump is running, and if needed, purge the um, purge the air out of the system. That way, we have water coming out of the side again. We have two batteries located under this uh, under this table here. So when we lift this up, we have a battery storage compartment on the starboard side of the boat, and another battery storage on the port side. So we put our two lithium batteries on the in the port side storage. We have our inverter charger located next to the factory inverter charger, and then we have two additional chargers that are utilized so we can take advantage of the charge output of the alternator output of the two of the two mercury engines whether it be the 350s or the 300s thank you for your time